Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Chrono Cross. I think there was another item down here. We are uh, looking for a uh, life sparkle. Uh, copper, nice. That is useful. Uh, let's go ahead and ignore the wraith. Ignore that wraith. I don't think there's anything around anything around here. We can ignore you, so that works. I'll do so. Got another copper. <laughs> Able to ignore that guy too. Do, 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 do. Just gonna zip on there. Alright, let's get an autosave. This is a dead end through here-ish. As a carapace. That's good. Oh, right. No, it's up there. I don't think I can get up there. Alright, what do we have around here? I don't really want to go that way. Let's grab this. There's a seed. No treasure up there, so I'm not really seeing any uh, big reason to check out that other area. Let me see. Um, and a monster decided to come over and attack me. It's fine, I'll deal with you. Just a uh, single, uh, no, two snip goblins. All right. This will be fine. Let's go ahead and Elastar. Actually, I didn't check what color they are. They're probably green, <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah, it must be green with that, that damage. Whoopsie. Yeah, green. Whoops. There we go. Alright, one hit point for all, one hit point for Tidal Rabbit, one hit point for Aleph. Got two arrow saucers. Okay. So let's not worry about this. I'm uh, pretty sure we'll be coming back here later for other stuff. Um, we don't need to worry about it. Nothing down there. Is something through here? A bat eye. Is that an item here? No, it is not. It must be uh, an accessory. What is that? What is that? Is that an element? It is. Uh, temporarily decreases uh, foe's attack percentage. Okay. Interesting. I don't know how useful that is right now, though. <laughs> Rare flower that only be growing in poisonous marshes. Finally, it be ours. All because of something or other. Humans destroyed the ecosystem that kept the water clean. That be why the hydra died out. I accidentally hit the button. Sorry. 
With the ruler of the forest dead, the dwarves be gone now. This forest be belonging to us. What are those two talking about? What be you looking at? Pretty impressive making it through the poison marshes. But there be nothing here. Get lost, beat it! No way, they must be pretty weak from the poison. Let's have fun with them. You know, or we might be pretty strong because we made it through. <laughs> Not a bad idea, let's tear them up. All right, bring it on. Uh, so yeah, uh, how do you feel about uh, about me now? Huh? Actually, let's go with Tyler. And ice blast. There we go. <laughs> Pretty weak, huh? One hit point for Ald, one hit point for Tidal Rabbit, one hit point for Alev. Uh Let's see, two arrow saucers. Very nice. Ald found Life Sparkle. Let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. I don't need to fight you. Definitely don't want to fight you right now. I also don't need to fight you, so... Here, no, 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 stay away, stay away. I guess I gotta fight you. Innate green. Ah, shucks. Need to figure out what the, uh... I need to figure out what the, uh, the break point for that is. Because obviously I can't do that. <laughs> um. Alright, one more hit point for everyone. Got a carapace. I obviously cannot, uh, do that. Super with all of my uh, damage. Like that. All right. Go ahead and recover that poison. I don't know that I went up here. I think so. so I think there was a treasure chest around there. Alright, uh, I think we are done here for now. Go ahead and leave. Head up through Fossil Valley. And let's actually get... Ichikun in the party. Heading to Viper Manor. That is an interesting lock mechanism. I don't think you have to have uh, Lucia here, but I'm going to do so anyway, and let's see, where is the information, just in case. I 
I should probably double check that just to see. Uh, do do do. Okay. All right. I think we got all of the uh, elements that we could get from the uh, Hydra Martians at this point. A lot of it is uh, not super important. Like, when I'm really high level, I can just, like, run around and, and grab it. All right. Oh, uh, we should actually take a look at the life sparkle first. Um, <laughs> should be in here. Yep, there it is. Uh, a botanical energy that will give life to the Neophio, a man-made, half-human, half-plant life form. Half-human. Wow. Wanna, you want to tell us about what you're doing there, uh, Lucia? Kichikun. Where is it? Life sparkle. There it is. Blossom! Hi! I'm Neophio. Oh, that was quick. So you must be something or other. Nice to meet you, bud! Neophio joined your party! Not like Neophio blossomed into your party or something like that? No, I'm kind of surprised. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and roll for a name. Sure, uh, Neophio is green, so I could have come back here and gotten Neophio uh, for the uh, Hydra fight. But, I mean, I ended up uh, not really uh, needing it. So, give me uh, just a second. Really likes. I'm I'm too lazy to like remove the uh, like change the what I need to roll. So it, it it's been twice rolled people that had already been uh, selected. It's a uh, that's a thing. All right. Um, this is going to be Griffin. Change name. Alright, there we go. Let me just make sure that the name was spelled like I think it is. Yes, indeed. Alright. Neophio. There we go. And let's go ahead and confirm that. Welcome to the party. Alright. Uh, let's see. Um... Strength 11, Resistance 10, Magic 10, all pretty good. Uh, accuracy 90, Agility 11, pretty good. Magic Resistance 6. So, Magic Resistance isn't great. Strength is okay. Magic is decent. Um, compared to uh, Lev, way less magic. A little bit more resistance. Lev actually has more strength. Um, good accuracy. I really like it when people have 90 accuracy. Less uh, magic resistance and way less agility. But let's go ahead and bring Griffin in the party. Okay. Uh, status. And I haven't checked some other people. Uh, a flower child. Age five. Oh, actually a uh, female. I didn't realize that. Uh, Vi from Viper Manor. Uh, height four feet. 44 pounds, build undefinable, and omnidextrous. Not ambidextrous, omnidextrous. <laughs> That's good. Alright. Uh, let's see. Who have I not looked at? Kijikun? Scientific genius, uh, age 28 female, Zenon mainland, 5'9", 97 pounds, build thin, right-handed, I will admit that I don't really know what, uh, um, like, preferred weights are for heights. 
for ladies, but 97 pounds for 5'9 seems really light. I don't know. Maybe I'm way off base. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lev. Forest Fairy. Unknown age female from Water Dragon Island. Height 3 feet 7 inches. It's actually pretty big for uh, compared to like D&D &D fairies. Uh, weight 11 pounds. Again, seems really light. Build tiny. Dominant arm unknown. Anyone else that we haven't looked at? Did I ever look at uh, Batsko Screech? I'm not sure. Psychic X Wrestler. Uh, 33 male, Zen in mainland. Height 6 feet 7 inches, 271 pounds. Build heavyweight and right handed. Okay. All right, let's see what uh, what equipment you come with by default. Copper glove and copper mail. All right, that's good. That's good. I appreciate that. Give you an ivory helmet. There we go. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Elements. I will need to allocate uh, uh, s stuff eventually. But for now, pop, pop, pop. Shoot forth a barrage of flower seeds. I guess we'll get that there. I need to go buy some more uh, greens. Not arrow saucers, though. I'm pretty good on arrow saucers. Yeah, I need to go buy more green. But let's go find something we can fight. So we can see what... Uh, what Griffin is like in battle. Go ahead and push the switch. I like how people's arms went up when they when we were going down. I don't think there's anything to fight around here. I mean I could go out onto the bluffs, but meh. Not necessary. Okay, um... Just going to Fossil Valley North. Should be some monsters around here. There we go. Okay. Oh wow, look at... <laughs> okay. Was not expecting that. Uh, let's see, I need... Well, I don't actually need more. Alright, all right. pop, pop, pop. Hey, that's all enemies, nice. Well, that's good. <laughs> nice. That would have been extremely good against uh, the dwarves. Uh, one hit point for Tidal Rabbit, three hit points for Griffin, and found uh, two things of fur. All right. I don't think we got to fight uh, anything right away. Uh, so, like uh, um, Chrono Trigger, there are triple techs in this game. There are extremely few triple triple techs in this game. And by that, I mean there are two. Um, and one of them is actually uh, Ald, Tidal Rabbit, and Alep. That's the stuff we needed to save the girl. That girl, huh? And there's no time to lose. Full speed ahead. Let's return to Goldove. And a sailing on back. I wonder how good uh, AI could be programmed to enhance 
like low resolution artwork to higher resolution artwork and, and preserve all the details. Let's rush that over to the doctor right away. Come on, you guys hurry too. I'm coming. Hey, Ald, let's hurry up and get that to the doctor right away. Don't give up hope. We will do our best to save her. Oh, it's you dudes. The uh, patient's strength is at its limit. Without the antidote... Ah, uh, you mean this thing in my hand? Oh, right. I have to uh, actually hand it to you. Can this be? Hydra humor? But how? We will discuss that later. As long as we have this, making the antidote making an antidote will be easier than catching a wave. We can save the girl with this. Yeah, he's a he's totally a surfer dude. We will prepare an antidote right away. Nurse, help me with the preparation. Stat. Yes. I have no idea where in the world you found this, nor do I know who you really are. But now is not the time to ask such questions. You have done your part. Now you can leave the rest to me. You heard the doc. We've done all we can. Just trust in just trust him and wait. Alright, where do we wait? It's already close to nightfall. Doc, how is she? Will she be alright? Yes, she has passed the critical period. There are no signs of complications from the poison. The girl has held up well, but only thanks to you dudes. You've done the impossible by finding the antidote. I still cannot believe it. You, with the red bandana. You are old, correct? Uh, she would like to speak with you. It'll be a little while longer before she falls asleep from the uh, anesthetic. Will you speak with her, dude? Sure. I'll be in the n room next door, so call me when you need me. And do not forget that even though the poison is gone, she is not completely recovered. Well then, catch you later, dude. <laughs> you become bloody handsome while I was out, while I was out of it. I don't know all the details, but I heard what happened from the doc. Looks like there's been a lot going on while I was asleep. I guess it proves that you can take care of yourself now, eh? Oh, hey, Ald. You did good, mate. Why don't you look cheerful for a change? <laughs> that would have been alright without any antidote at all. It's truth. Now I owe you one. I think you owe me more than one. I did get you into Viper Manor. Ald, thanks. I do like this music, too. A world different from our own? That is far out, man. That there really is such a thing. And you dudes are from this other world, I presume? Just to make it clear, Doc, the only one that's from the other world is Ald. Uh, not just Ald. Let's not forget Froxes. Although, like, it really, like, because... It, I don't know if, uh... Yeah, you could probably get Potial at any time. Uh, if you don't get... If you turn down Kid, and you didn't get uh, uh, Potial uh, back uh, in the homeworld, uh, when you get here and um, Lena joins, uh, then Potial joins at the same time. Uh, hold on a second. I need to respond to something. All the others, including myself, are from this world. 
We're all with him for different reasons, though. Uh, also, uh... Alev. I guess Alev isn't uh, in the party right now, so... Another world, so I suppose some things are slightly different. The Hydra Marshes are a good example of this. Otherwise, we would have never found a Hydra in this world. Parallel worlds never to cross each other, yet existing alongside one another? Hey, Doc, let's not think too deeply about this. There isn't any easy way to explain it. Even after going through it myself, I still doubt what I saw. Let's just drop the theories. The girl's been saved. That's all we need to know, right? <laughs> That's very... Oh, no, this is, uh, this is a, uh, the lady, the nurse, I assume. <laughs> That's very like you, Guilty Tongue. But he's got a point, Doctor. Lord Smappy's life has been saved. I don't think we need to think about anything further for the time being. Well, I guess you were right. I cannot find an answer to this by thinking about it on my own. It is pretty late. We have been talking for quite some time. Let's call it a night. One good day's rest should be enough to let her get up and hang ten. Sneaky, sneaky. What did she do? What you gonna do, Alt? You've already found a way back to your own world, right? You could l just go back home and live a peaceful life pretending that nothing ever happened. But can you really forget everything you've seen here? And can you live with yourself if you turn your back on us? Yeah, just to, uh, just to remind us that there, there is something, something else going on. Assassin, time, Chrono Trigger, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What are you gonna do, Ald? Uh, go back home, or I won't go yet? Well, I think we're gonna wanna say, I won't go yet. But, let me just double check. Uh, I won't go back yet. I don't think it matters, actually. I see. Then I'll stick around with you a little longer. But just don't slow me down, you hear? I don't know what happened ten years ago, but it looks like Viper's mob have got something to do with it. Let's go after him. I need to go bash up that Lynx character and get me hands on the frozen flame. Lynx. He stole something precious from me. He's taken away my future. I'll find him, no matter what it takes. Guilty Tongue, I heard that you helped in the search, too. Hm. Yeah, it was nothing. Yeah, well, thanks for nothing. Now then, at one point I thought we were doomed for sure, but it looks like it's all settled now. All that's left is to take you guys back to Termina, right? My, uh, my job ends there. You get a special discount price of 300G for the round trip. Sorry, but I need to make a living, too. Welp. <laughs> You're pretty damn shrewd, eh? I shouldn't have thanked you earlier. Huh? What is it? You looking for something? Mm, yeah. Well, the elements I had on my grid are gone. Oh, I, oh, did you remove the ele elements from me, Grid? Nope. Hmm, if it wasn't you, then who did? The only one's looking over you while you... 
we were gone were the doc and the nurse. They should be in the next room, in the room next door. So let's ask them when we head out. The doc should know something. Yeah, I hope you're right. All right, do we get to uh, reform the party? N oh, hello. Uh, Mel, what you doing? Hey, Blondie, if you want your stuff back, I challenge you to catch me. Mel, wait. What is it, dude? Is Mel up to something again? Well, yeah, the same old mischief, but this time she's gone too far. Jeez, that idiot. What is she thinking? I don't get it. I'm sorry about her, Lord Smappy. I'll get the stuff back from her later, so go easy on her, all right? Ah, it's no problem. I ain't anything. A, it ain't anything I'll suffer without any. Anyway, not, not to be rude, but I don't have time to play around with brats. I gotta go chase after Lynx. Hmm, what is it all? All right, so if we say it's nothing, uh, we will get the uh, elements later but we will not be able to recruit Mel. So, uh, you need those elements. Well, you're not wrong, but Gilda Tug said, said he'd get them back later. We don't have time to waste. Ain't that right, Ald? Come on, mate, let's go. Now, let's go after Mel. All right, if you insist. Okay, then let's go find that brat right away. Time ain't gonna wait for us. That's the plan, Gilda Tug. Why don't you help us out a bit? It'll be a lot quicker that way. Gotcha! Okay, and it just has uh, changed up the party, alright? Hmm, I'm beginning to wonder if curing you is the right course of action. Such a ruckus in the clinic interferes with my work. But I guess your antics are proof of your youth, dude. It's not us. Mel's a little worried that Gilded Tongue might fall for someone else. She's adopted, so doesn't have the best confidence, you know? All right. So we need to go with Chase Mel, and that's going to wrap up the episode once we do that. Um, I don't think it's, like, timed or anything. So let's go ahead and talk to some people, see if we can figure out where Mel has gone, where she is hiding. Yes? Mel? She hasn't come by here today. Has she done something again? What did she do this time? Did she write graffiti on the walls again? Well, it's nothing big. If she isn't here, that's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and climb up here. Let's head over this way. Chief Deria is in prayer. You may not enter the shrine now. Come back a little later. It shouldn't be that long. Hmm. What brings you here, Gilda Tongue? It's rare to see you come down to this tower. Ah, uh, never mind that. Uh, by the way, have you seen Mel around here? Yeah, we're looking for her right now. Mel? No, I haven't seen her today. Have you tried the residential tower? So she hasn't come this way. Thanks for the info. As you just heard, she hasn't come this way. The only place left is the residential tower. Well, there's a seat too, but that's not likely. Once we corner her, it's all over. Let's go. Alrighty. Huh? <laughs> oh, she spotted us. Mel's heading for the residential tower. We've got her cornered now. Okay, let's go. We should find her in no time. This is the end. There's no place to run. So, what are we gonna do? If all three of us barge in at once, she's gonna escape. There are three exits from this tower. If we each go in through a different exit, there's no escape. Listen up, don't you dare let Mel get outside. Leave it to me, bro. All I have to do is stop Mel getting out of this exit, right? Yep, I'm counting on you. Now there are two exits left. We'll even end up with some manpower to spare. 
It's game over, Mel. Let's do it. Uh, you idiot. That's what you get for messing with my customers. I'm not going to forgive you just because you cried. That should be enough. We got me stuff back and there's been no harm done. Even so, we have to keep teach this kid some proper manners. You never know when she might do it again. Don't worry about such minor stuff. I say it's already forgiven. Let's just leave it at that. Besides... The little one's got some guts to steal from a member of the Radical Dreamers. <laughs> hey, don't you call me a little one. I've got a name too, you know. It's Mel. Oh, feisty. So she's got a real spirit too. But weren't you crying just now? Or were you just faking it? I tell you, she's going to be a real mean one when she grows up. <laughs> what you mean by that? Whoops, I guess you're still just a little one. Don't worry, just forget it. Yeah, I said don't you call me a little one. Hey, are you sure you want to leave it at that? I just don't get you. Ah, well, no use bothering with it now. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you at the docks. Come and find me when you're ready to go. All right, then. All right, let's get moving, then. All right, who do we want to put in the party? We want to put Tidal Rabbit in the party. I won't cause any more mischief, but promise to play with me again. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, so we have to come back later to get, uh, to get Mel. Alright, let's see if the, uh, shrine is open so that I can go in there and save. It's rude to have a save point in there and, uh, hide it from me, because I, I kind of need to end the, uh, session. I don't want to do another episode. <laughs> there we go, good, excellent. I will answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. What would you like to know about? Uh, the land of Genesis. The land of Genesis. I have no idea where it may lie. But all phenomena have their reasons. I feel that there is some other will acting behind this. Something other than the fact that you are dead in this world. Uh, the dragon tear. It is a one-of-a-kind orb that our ancestors received from the now-extinct Dragonians. Oh, I bet that's what, uh, what, what, uh, was in Viper Manor. Traditionally, it was passed down to each successive shaman, but someone has taken it away from Goldove. Uh, the Dragonian ruins? Many buildings and sculptures built by the Dragonians can still be found in El Nido today, but most of these have be weathered away, and only a small portion of them remain intact. The only one that remains retains its complete form is Fort Dragonia, which we have discussed before. It stands at the peak of Mount Pyre. Uh, the Six Dragon Gods? As you may well know, the natural world is composed of a balance of the six elements. These elements are white, black, red, blue, green, and yellow. Each one pairs up with another to maintain the balance upon which the natural world relies upon. The gods that represent each element are called the Dragon Gods. Since they symbolize the powers of nature, they are also commonly referred to as the gods of nature. If the sun is white, the shadow is black, the flame red and the water blue, green are the leaves of the forest and the blowing winds, yellow are the forces of Mother Earth. Alright, and the frozen flame. A frozen flame? That is something we have not heard of in these parts. But there is something about flames in the oral lore of our tribe. I do not know if this is related to the flame you speak of, but allow me to share it with you. 
Be very careful when you stare into the flame, for the flame will stare back. It will either transform you into a different being or burn you to ashes. In an old poem of El Nido, there is a phrase that refers to the evil sealed away by the six dragons. This phrase follows after it. The evil flame that sought to engulf the world. Uh... That sounds like Lavos. <laughs> An evil flame. If this refers to the frozen flame, it should not be in the hands of humans. Yet the truth about this story is unknown. Right, that's all I need for now. May your journey be blessed with the guidance of the six great dragon gods. That you will most certainly never fight at all. No siree. One must choose one's own path, but as long as one is human, one will sometimes become lost. I pray that your journey will be blessed by the guidance of the six great dragon gods. Okie dokie. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a save. When we come back next time, we will be heading back to the mainland. Well, that is a portrait we have not seen before. Uh, we'll head back to the mainland and uh, see where we can go from there. See if we can uh, figure out um, something to do with uh, um, uh, Viper Manor heading, like the, all, all of the Acacia Dragoons heading to uh, Fort Dragonia. That sounds significant. So we may have to uh, uh, work on that. Uh, but I do have some elements that I probably need to allocate. Oh. They all got uh, unequipped. I'm also going to buy some more, I think. So I'm running low on a few of the uh, things that I would like to have on everyone. Uh, but that will all uh, have to wait until next time. See you then, everyone.